The tactile display is a device to physically stimulate the human skin to reproduce the feelings of touch. The primary problems of the current devices could be summarized as rigidity, complexity, and bulkiness in the device characteristics. These disadvantages may cause complex driving electronics, inefficient power usage, and limited mobility. An innovative wearable tactile device based on soft actuator technology with the dielectric elastomer actuator is presented. The dielectric elastomer actuator provides a number of benefits for the actuator construction, which are excellent flexibility with comfortable softness, ease of fabrication, miniaturization, and cost effectiveness. Attaining the flexibility, the device could be adapted to various geometric configurations and worn on any part of the human body, such as fingertip, palm, or arm. We will present a novel tactile display device driven by a dielectric elastomer actuator. The device adopts an indirect actuation method by using a rigid coupling, which is aiming for avoiding the direct contact of the human skin with the actuator. The rigid coupling is made of silicone to transmit the movement of the actuator to the touch layer located on the top surface of the coupling and provide the feelings of softness at the contact. The device consists of a frame with a rigid coupling and a film type of the dielectric elastomer actuator. After assembling the frame and actuator by sandwiching the rigid coupling, the device will be built. We have the device prototype. It has 4 millimeters of length, 4 millimeters of width, and 2.5 millimeters of height. Recently, various demands on the touch technology, from mobile devices to automobile, home appliances, games, medical equipment, and so on, are explosively increasing. In addition, in the areas related to Braille presenters for the blind, wearable devices and robots as well as such public products, it could be put into practice as a new concept tactility interface. Being one of the leading laboratories on the Robotic Research in Korea, Intelligent Robotics and Mechatronic System Laboratory at Sungkyung Kwan University, shorted to IRMS, has developed various kinds of robots and high-tech devices, such as minimally invasive surgery robot with tactile sensing capabilities, cable climbing robot, soft transducer technology, etc. Hyukriel Choi, the director of the IRMS lab, is leading the group, and many researchers contribute to developing the industries related to robotics and high technologies.